Hello everybody, this is Andrew Gamer, and today I'm playing Circle's Revenge, a game from uh, someone who just recently followed me, uh, David Gibson. So I thought maybe he followed me on Twitter, I thought I'd give him a try. Thank you for wanting to follow me, David, and welcome to Droid Army. So let's play. So from what I can tell, it is ping... Nope, I'm just going back up where I'm starting from before. So it's pretty much... I cannot talk! It is pretty much a pinball, pinball game. That you just, as you go through, you destroy all the different blocks, and you have up to three lives, and you just try to see how far up you can get. I don't think it gets any more... Ah, shoot! <laughs> Difficult, or you don't have anything else other than this, but it's a nice little game, easy to put, pick up, and try a bit, and so you can beat your next score, which I looks like I did already. And fairly simple, straightforward game. There's no, there wasn't any real walk through at all when I first picked up and played with it. Just you have two paddles. Left and right, and pause, and you just go. So we'll see how far I can get, but having issues trying to get that last one. No! Go. There. Come on. <laughs> All around the blocks. So I'm guessing the reason why it's Circle's Revenge is that he's taking his aggressions out on squares. It's not good to be square. You know, there is an old song saying it's to be square. Never want to be square. Ooh, got it. Yeah, nice, straightforward game. It'd be nice if it was some music in the background than just hearing a ball bounce around. Maybe they will add that in an update, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm guessing it's based on his profile on Twitter. If it's, it's his first pay, or first game, it would appear. So, can't ask a whole lot for that, but still. Come on. Give me that last one. There we go. I remember playing some of these type of games when arcades were a thing way back when. There are still some places where there's arcades, but mostly in the US there's, I've rarely seen any arcades left in Canada, unless there's, I mean, there's one that's outside of the movie theater, but that's fairly small, but by, by themselves, there's not really a whole lot anymore, or at least the games have changed since I've been interested in doing arcades, but hey, if there are any, let me know in the comments, and I could, would love to be proved wrong. Okay, so I'm guessing that those areas around it, if by any chance it falls down, but I yet to see it fall down either those sides at all. So I don't know, it might be good to move up the bumpers there a little bit, just so there's a little bit more of a chance that you might lose the ball down the side there. Because right now it's only down the middle. <laughs> and it's so possible you can catch it before it falls. And I got 100. Oh, I almost got it. 
Yeah, there's one. Almost on another try right now, just to see if I can get click down. Oh, there we go. Three free lies. Uh, not today. Well, not yet, so that's pretty good. That is uh, Circle's Revenge. Very good game, David. Very straightforward, easy to pick up and play. If you want to play Dave's game for yourself, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. It's Android Gamer, Layer Days, and happy gaming!